Is this a surprise to us, Tyler? So I think um, in, in certain ways, yes. Mark Zuckerberg has been pretty clear that, that he is not getting involved in, in, in in the presidential race. He uh, has been attacked by both Democrats and Republicans for various things that Facebook has done, whether those are issues of privacy or misinformation or, or bias, as some conservatives claim. But so this is the first evidence that, that we've seen of Mark Zuckerberg actively getting involved in the presidential race by recommending staff hires to, to Mayor Buttigieg's campaign. Now, what response have you gotten from Mark Zuckerberg or from Facebook? Because as I understand it, they've said that the fact that we're recommending some people does not indicate whom we're backing for president. Is that right? Exactly. So they were very clear in, in their statement for the, spokes, the spokesman for the Chan and Zuckerberg family, because also Priscilla Chan, his wife, made some staff recommendation as well, um, that, that Mark and Priscilla have not decided who they're going to endorse in the presidential race. Um, and they said that, that the reason they, they sent these emails to Pete Buttigieg's campaign manager was because the employees specifically asked to be recommended. Yeah, there's also some connections there between Mark Zuckerberg and Pete Buttigieg, aren't they from Harvard days? Right. So they both went to Harvard. They didn't know each other while at Harvard, um, but uh, Pete Buttigieg knew some of Mark Zuckerberg's friends. They were introduced in 2017 by a mutual friend. And then in 2017, Mark Zuckerberg was doing a tour of the United States where he visited all 50 states. And while in Indiana, he drove around South Bend with Pete Buttigieg, who is still mayor of, of, the, of his hometown. Um, and so that's when they first met. And, and that connection has persisted, obviously, as Mark Zuckerberg has made these, these recommendations. Um, and, and both of the recommendations he made, those two individuals, are hired and now on the staff. It's a fascinating report. And it's particularly poignant, I think that's the right word, because of what one candidate, particularly Elizabeth Warren, the senator from Massachusetts, has had to say about Facebook and even Mark Zuckerberg himself. This is part of what she has said. It's time to break them up. Let's enforce the antitrust laws. Big tech, yes, Mark Zuckerberg, I'm looking at you. Well, so the question is, if there's a drive to break up Facebook, as other people talked about, it's not just Elizabeth Warren, uh, might it actually take some of the sting out of that if Pete Buttigieg were to, by some stretch of the imagination, end up in the Oval Office? Right. And so Elizabeth Warren has really been out in front in criticizing big tech, especially Facebook. She took out billboards in San Francisco calling for the breakup of big tech companies. But other campaigns, Democratic contenders for president, have also been pretty critical of Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook in recent weeks, particularly for their ad policy in which they do not, which politicians are exempt from their fact checking policy. So this has really been a full frontal attack from Democrats over Facebook. Right. Pete Buttigieg has been critical of Facebook. He has raised concerns about monopolies right. and, and them having too much. Much power, right. um, but it but it is fair right. to say that that he has not been as critical um, as as uh, yeah. as Mark as, as Elizabeth Warren.